Hi, my name is Lindsay Olfig, and I'm a Regional Sales Director and Piston Demo Pilot here at Textron Aviation. Today, I'm here with the Cessna 182, and we're going to show you how to update your G1000 databases. This will be the same for all Cessna G1000 aircraft. To begin, you'll need a 32 gigabyte SD card, a computer with an SD card receiver, and access to internet. We'll begin by starting at the computer. So we'll begin at the computer by navigating to the Fly Garmin website. Once the Fly Garmin lo website loads, you can scroll down, and this is where you'll select the Garmin Aviation Database Manager. If you haven't already, you can download whichever type of computer you have. Once the Garmin Database Manager is downloaded, you'll open it and log in. Once logged in, you will see different aircraft listed. This is because we have many aircraft in our fleet, but generally you will just see whichever type you have. The green check mark shows that the database is already update, updated, and the red exclamation mark means that they are expired. Looking at the 182, we'll select our aircraft, and we will select update slash reinstall. Once this opens up, we will insert our SD card, and then we will select the databases that we would like to update. Today, we're going to skip a couple of them. Once we have the databases selected that we'd like to update, we will select Continue in the bottom right corner. We will either accept or decline the license agreement, and here's my SD card, so I will select that and click Continue. Here we can see how much of the database update has been completed. As you can see, the database update has been completed, so we will remove the SD card and head out to the aircraft to complete the update. Now that we have our updated databases and we're back in the aircraft, we'll begin with the power turned off. With both of the cards removed on the right hand side, we'll use our updated databases and place it in the top slot. Now we will turn the power on, master and avionics. As you can see over here, we are missing some of our databases. So we're going to go in and check those. Using the large FMS knob, we're going to scroll over to the auxiliary section and down to the database page. As you can see here, it is syncing or pending. This is going to be the standby. At the top, you can see how much time is remaining in the percentage complete. Now that the synchronization is complete, we're waiting for blue arrows to show up here. This will indicate that the databases will move over to effective at the next power cycle. If this blue arrow does not show up, that means that the standby is not effective yet. Once the effective date comes to be, then at the next power cycle, you will see the arrow over to the active. So now we'll move over here and we will cycle the power and we'll wait about 10 seconds before turning it back on. Now that 10 seconds has passed, we'll turn the system back on. Over here, we can verify that all of our charts are now up to date. We'll use the rightmost soft key to continue we will scroll back over to the auxiliary. Terrain system test, okay. And down to the databases. As you can see here, all of our databases are up to date in the active category, so we're good to go. We can now 
remove our card, and shut the system down. Thank you for joining us on our demonstration of updating the G1000 databases. For more information, we recommend contacting your authorized Cessna service facility, or you can contact us directly at 316-517-1700.